Hi guys, Mistral has released another Instruct model, which is Mistral 7B Instruct version 0.3. And what advantage does it give? Let's find out. With respect to the previous models, it has three major changes when compared to Mistral 7B version 0.2. It has an extended vocabulary of 32768. It supports the version 3 of the tokenizer and it supports function calling. It is amazing. Now we have talked about function calling and uh, giving tools to our agents. Now one of the most important thing for an agent to be truly agentic and work in all the cases is to give it so many tools. So you define a function and it calls the function or it automatically generates a function in real time and call that function uh, to do some sort of a work in this video we are going to see two things the first is that they have uh, made a library uh, as of itself uh, which is the mistral inference and it's easy uh, rather than following the normal route of going through the hugging phase using the hugging phase you can use this particular library to get the things rolling also we are going to look at the output of the function calling once we install the mistral inference we need to download the model so for downloading the model we have this uh, from the hugging phase we import the snapshot download and then we put the uh, model here so mistral ai mistral 7b instruct version 0.3 and we allow these patterns we allow the params to get downloaded the consolidated safe tensors to get downloaded and the tokenizer to get downloaded and we put it in our directory then we can do the normal chat for example we can put in this message explain uh, machine learning to me in a nutshell uh, we will run this uh, in a while and we can test the function calling abilities as well now let's go and test this out uh, before that we have the inference here as well so where we can try this out as well so what is the capital of uh, japan so you can see uh, the speed as well now let's go to my favorite cloud service, uh, cloud GPU, which is RunPod. I'll put in a link so that you can join and uh, test this out. I'm going to go ahead and go to home. You just need to uh, go to pods, click on deploy. We can go with A6000. Try this out. Let's try this on an A6000 uh, as well. So we go, we start up our pods. We wait for the pods to get started. Once it is ready, we need to click on connect once we click on connect we can connect to jupyter labs here so there we have the jupyter labs uh, i can go to a uh, python 3 ipy kernel just click here and then we need to change uh, rename this function calling next we need to install uh, pip install the hugging face hub and let it install next we need to install pip install mistral inference this is a new library that mistral has created for us so it's easier to get everything running so we paste it here and here you need to know that we need the hugging face tokens here and this line to be put here so if you are ready with that uh just press run and this is going to download the model okay our model downloading has started okay the model is about to be finished and that's done next let's test this out so we have this code uh, we have already seen we run this uh, this is the, the user input is explain machine learning to me in a nutshell and we get this uh, response that's pretty cool now let's test the function calling abilities here what we have here is that we have imported all the tools here the transfer models the generate function here uh, the tokenizer function user message handling uh, the user message and handling the chat completion then we start up the tokenizer here start up the model here and this is the chat completion request which takes tools as an input and this message as a user message here so within this tools we have this function called tool and within that we need to define this functions so this is just one function so we have the name of the function as get current weather and this is a description these are the parameters so the required field is the location and format so ultimately what you're going to have is the output you're not going to have the weather of paris but you're going to have a function that when you call it will give you the weather 
next uh, we have these tokens we have the output tokens here and, and we um, tokenize that back into or detokenize that back or decode that back into the natural format so the answer we get is this name is equal to get current weather argument is equal to location paris and a format is such as it is able to detect from our question of what is the weather like in paris it is able to detect this uh, function format this is the mistral ai's version 03 it supports native function calling and it's amazing i'm going to create more videos on this or create more videos on function calling ultimately what our aim is that we have an agent and that agent has infinite number of functions it has infinite number of tools that you can go and conduct any uh, work that you assign the agent to do of course that won't be infinite because you would have an agent that let's say takes care of your bookings so that will have a limited number of tools that will need a limited number of functions but that should not be the restrictions and we want our agent to use as many tools as it needs we want to feed it with uh, as many functions as it needs so probably by the end of this month i'm going to create a repo where we are going to have an agent and that agent i'm going to feed it with different functions you know in different videos when i get new functions i'm going to feed it with different functions i'm going to i'm going to feed it with different tools i'm going to help it generate functions and callings and that would be fun so if you like this video stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel join my patreon and support me in all the efforts that i'm putting forward hoping to see you next time in the next video thank you and have a nice day please watch the other video here